Don't hit yourself in the nuts. I won't. Hey, I might get hit for it. Is it bouncing on the cart, Bray? Yep. What's up, guys? We are now currently playing some golf out here today in the town that I live in. We're out at the Lakes Golf Club. Uh, this is only the third time I've ever played, so it's a learning experience trying to use the uh, gym gains to learn a new activity. So, yeah, we're going to keep playing. All See how it goes. All right. This is going to be start. funny. All right. All right. Fire and hole. This is what we're doing for YouTube now, guys. Yeah, this is... Hopefully this will either be really good or really bad. It's going to suck, but let's go. Don't hit yourself in the nuts. I won't. Hey, I might get hit for it. Ah, missed. Okay. Where are you, where are you digging the ditch? I am. I'm trying to dig a hole. All right. And it, he got out. I got out. All right, so... We are currently on hole number 11. I'm not obviously going to film the entire game that we're playing just because that would take up way too much time. So the golf came out of nowhere. We had a week off of uh, work due to spring break. So I uh, jumped on the chance to go and play some with my father-in-law. And now I'm kind of hooked on it. So uh, definitely enjoy having the ability to just get out and try something new. Um, that's one positive of CrossFit, I feel like, is because it's such a functional training, it's so varying in what you do, that you're kind of equipped to do a little bit of everything. So I'm not good. I've only played, this will be my third time playing, but it's a learning experience. And the more you do it, the better you get. And I always like learning new things. So I'll uh, have a couple more shots that we'll do, and then we'll cut over and go back to the working out. Because we all know that's what you guys are here for, is the lifting part. All 19 of you. But there definitely will be more uh, golf in the future. All right, let's hit some more balls. We're in the pond. Yep. I went swimming today. I went swimming today. Or you went swimming today. Aim for the corner over there. There you go. That's a nice ball. Nice. If you can see it, it's out in the middle somewhere. So it's definitely a learning curve trying to figure out how to do this. Um, I have good shots and I have bad shots. But like I said previously, this is only the third time I've ever played. So yeah, it's uh, it's taking my time. But uh, we're getting there. Yeah. All right, let's see if we can uh, make this shot. Came up, stood up, can't stand up, stay down. Remember, slow and low. Oh my gosh. Lovely. Alright, we're gonna re hit that one. Alright, let's re hit it. We're re hitting it. Let's re hit it. We'll probably play that one anyway, but I just wanna see. I don't care, you can play any more you want. You keep hitting behind it. Keep hitting behind it. What's up guys? So we are back in the garage, done with the golf game. Uh yeah, so what we're gonna work on today is a heavy push jerk that's what we're working up to so we're going to do some warm-up mobility stuff to get ready going to warm up the body a little bit and the conditioning work is all going to be just working up to that heavy push jerk so let's get to it we are just working on some shoulder work i'm going to get my shoulders ready to fire hammer a low um, the it's a very light band it's very painful it's pretty bad, but we're really bad. working on Getting everything woken up. I mean, it's a pretty conservative play, but it's pretty good. To so, all right, you're gonna make a birdie. You gotta get up and down. I'm that really excited. This is the birdie shot. I, mean, I can mm -hmm. probably give out maybe 200, 205 on the uh, push shirt today. All right, let's 
we'll work, we'll start off with a small incremental jump, like going five reps, four reps, three reps, two reps, one. And then from there, we're gonna do a 21 minute EMOM for every minute on, every three minutes on the minute, we'll do another single heavy single. So depending on how 200 and 205 feel, if I even get those, it's if we go heavier on the overall. Um, overall movement. So yeah, we're gonna do a couple more things to get the shoulders warmed up, and then we're gonna jump over to the fish jerk. Let's go. I belt it up. Got a new belt. This is the E23 um, weightlifting belt. It's really cool. It has a self-locking feature right here. It's kind of underneath, so I can load the pin in and I can push, brace, and it's not gonna the velcro is not gonna come loose. It's really nice. All right, so we're gonna I'm gonna skip filming the working up to the heavy singles, and then I will film the 21 minute heavy singles. And so what you're gonna see there is each attempt, each single attempt of all seven attempts. So yeah, praying, hoping, wishing, gonna get that 200, 205 again with this uh, overhead press, which I feel really good, I can go heavier. And now that we've got the bar from X training equipment, the 1500 pound rated with the higher PSI, the nice barbell for CrossFit, you should be good. So definitely excited to see if we can go heavier with that. All right, let's do this. Alright, so so far we're up to 195. I'm going to hit 195 one more time, just get that extra load underneath. And then the next two will hopefully be PRs. So right now my current PR is 200 exactly. But I'm pretty sure I got 205 in the tank. But I want to make sure that 195 feels nice and smooth before I jump to that 205 number. So yeah, I don't want to waste any more attempts. So 195 one more time, and then 205, and then we'll see where we go from there. 205. This is now a PR. Let's see what happens. guys that is it for this week's episode hope you enjoyed it so just to recap on what happened from this week obviously we start off the episode at the golf course working on playing working on my game and that is going to become a new part of the fever lifts as we venture more into the golf world um, definitely not something I would have ever seen myself doing um, definitely in high school I was totally against any kind of sport and it wasn't until I got into my early 20s and started going to the gym that I realized that I had a more athletic side than I knew. So, a few weeks ago, I had the opportunity to go to the golf course and I fallen in love with the game. So now I'm going to use all my things that I'm training, using the CrossFit, using that functional fitness, using my athletic side and really try to dive head in and really make something of um, this golfing experience. So besides trying to train and get ready for some CrossFit competitions in the future, which we're still pushing for, now I'm going to work and try to get onto some tournament wins and see if I can even make it to a tournament or even play below a 70 and just get 
relatively great and pretty good at the game of golf. So you'll be able to see all kinds of things, club fittings that I'll be doing in the future, um, learning how to play with every kind of uh, um, different club, and just improving my game overall, as well as continuing to crush it in the gym and become stronger and stronger and just training to become the best I can be every day. So yeah, if you enjoyed this week's episode, please like, please comment, please subscribe, share it, and uh, yeah, I will see you guys next week. So until then, stay strong, stay healthy, we're out.